Welcome to the Home Science lesson on safety in home. In this lesson, you will learn about the need for safety at home and common accidents at home, first aid and its rules as well as first aid for specific injuries. All right, let's dive right in. Why do we need to make our home safe? Well, Think about it accidents can happen anywhere but did you know that a whopping 80% of accidents occur right in our homes Yes you heard that right That's why it's so important to create a safe environment at home Imagine this there's a loose wire on the floor and you trip over it Ouch That's a near miss a warning sign that we need to pay attention to potential accident sites we don't want accidents to happen because they can be fatal or leave someone injured, which can affect not just their bodies but also their minds and social lives. So, what can we do to prevent accidents at home? Well, for starters, we can make our homes accident-proof. It's like putting on armor to protect ourselves from harm. And guess what? Living in a safe house can reduce the constant fear of injuries or accidents. Now, let's talk about common accidents that can happen right in our homes. They are usually unpredictable and unintended, like a surprise party you weren't expecting. First up, falls. Nearly half of the accidents at home are caused by falls. Imagine trying to reach those delicious ladoos on the top shelf and losing your balance. Crash. Down you go. Cuts can be another nasty surprise. Little Bitu got a cut on his hand while playing with a toy truck. Ouch. It's important to remove hazardous items from a child's reach and choose safe toys. Burns and scars can be super painful. You don't want to spill hot tea on yourself or catch your sari on fire while cooking, like Fatima almost did. Poisoning can be a silent danger. Imagine a child mistaking naphthalene balls for sweets. Scary, right? We need to be careful with household cleaners, detergents, and even food to prevent poisoning. Bites and stings can sting like a bee. Literally. Rubina and Arshia learned it the hard way when they disturbed a beehive during a picnic. Even dog and snake bites can be dangerous. Electrocution and shocks can give you a jolt, just like it did to Joseph. Electricity can be dangerous if not used properly. Suffocation and choking can be scary too. Ginny almost choked on a button, and she also tried wearing a plastic bag as a cap. We need to watch out for small objects and keep plastic bags away. But don't worry, we can be superheroes and help in emergencies with something called first aid. It's like being a lifesaver until professional help arrives. First aid is about acting fast and staying calm. We need to keep a first aid kit handy and know what to do in different situations. And with that, we wrap up this informative lesson. For additional information on this lesson, please look at the content below the video in the online course. To get a list of the important questions and their answers for this lesson, please refer to the guidebook by our publications provided to you with this course for free. It shows you a list of all the questions that have the highest chance of coming in your next exams based on research carried out on previous year question papers. All the best, and I'll see you in the next lesson.